Um, I think we are just going to be very informal here. Um, Dimitri, do you want or Abedim, do you want to make any kind of statement, or do we want to take questions? What do you no, want no, to? I mean, just, I think if anybody has any questions. Yeah. Okay, you want to say anything first? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, well, so we have uh, we had another performance from a terrific young light heavyweight who is uh, the world champion and continue to improve every time we watch him fight. He fought a guy who really didn't want to be there tonight, and that always makes it. Uh, Less, less than as, satis as satisfying as we'd like it to be, but uh, he's certainly dominated every round, and uh, uh, we're here to take your questions. So, anybody want to ask? Yes? It was another dominating performance. Um, you know, out of your last 24 rounds, you probably won 23 of them. Um, but you yeah. didn't get the stoppage again, just like Joe Smith. Uh, Castillo looked a lot bigger than you. Do you consider going down to 68? Do you think that there's any pressure to, to get more knockouts? Because you're dominating fights. You're winning every minute of every round, but you're not getting knockouts. And the guys look much bigger than you in there. Uh, yes, everyone in the light heavyweight division is bigger than me. Uh, but uh, I like uh, this division because there are a lot of uh, good fighters. and. Uh, uh, I feel comfortable in light heavyweight. Uh, what about uh, knockouts? Uh, uh, you know, my favorite fighters uh, is um, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Roy Jones Jr., uh, Muhammad Ali. Uh, I like uh, to watch their fights, how they move, how they show us uh, um, their defense. Uh, Защиту, да? Defense. And uh, I like boxing uh, because uh, if you have not enough uh, power, uh, you can win someone. If you have not uh, enough speed, uh, you can use your movable uh, mo movement. Mo movement and uh, power. Uh, this is boxing. Uh, and this is smart sport. And you can win the fight with your brain. Um, what about uh, knock knockouts? Uh, yeah, of course I wanna uh, go to the ring and in the first round beat my opponent, knock him out. Uh, but uh, it's not the best way, I think, for me because I'm not a puncher uh, like uh, Mike Tyson. I'm a boxer. I use my legs and my brain to get a win. And a lot of people in the world uh, uh, have a <clears throat> can fight with their brain. Well said. Anybody else? You um, are pretty dominant in the first round as you are in the twelfth round. Um, you have like, incredible conditioning, and it's clear that you're more of a finesse fighter, uh, boxing. <clears throat> How do you feel about the crowd? Для тебя, ну, важно то, что болельщики ждут нокаут и как-то это на тебя влияет. То есть ты был готов, в принципе, также боксировал в первом, в двенадцатом раунде, ты был да, хорошо подготовлен к бою, это было очевидно. Uh, of course, I wanna make a good fight for. Um, for for boxing fans, uh, but uh, if I w if I listening the fans, I can lose. I have to listening my coach, who said me you have to be a patient, uh, don't lose your concentration, uh, and uh, you have to box box like you like you can, and you have uh, you have to keep your belt to get. A big a chance for big a fight. Who really wanna you your belt and who really wanna can make a good fight against you. But because uh, my last fights, uh, I think when when I was a, a challenger, uh, I wanted uh, to be in the TV. I wanted to be the champion. I I was aggressive. Uh, I wanted to get a belt. Uh, 
uh, but now I am a champion uh, and I don't understand why my challengers didn't wanna get my belt. They just uh, spending that time in the ring against me, I think. Kathy, uh, the fight practically just ended, but from talks that you've had with Dimitri and the team, uh, where could we go from here? Because as he's saying, the challengers really aren't stepping up. Um, so possibly looking towards a unification, have, has there been any talks of uh, what could possibly be next? Um, no, it's too soon for that. And actually, you know, World of Boxing is his lead promoter, um, and I am here as a partner. So, uh, you know, when they need advice, we, we offer. Uh, but they will be making the decisions about the, the, the uh, you know, the, the, the fights as they come. I can tell you from our experience, I had a very similar experience with Sergey Kovalev coming up. Nobody wanted to fight him either. As the as the uh, pots get bigger and bigger. It gets a lot easier to get people to come in who, who want to come in and engage. Because I could tell you, I, there were moments in that fight where I got the feeling if Castillo had wanted to engage the way he was able to for, in spots, it would have been a, a barn burner. It would have been an amazing fight. So he's got to get to that level where, where those opponents are coming in who are capable. And it, it'll happen. It takes patience. He's very good that he's so patient because get, he'll get there. I have a question for Vadim. Vadim, you know uh, Dimitri very well. You, you, you see him in the sparring, uh, you see him in the training camp. How many gears he already he has more to fight those best fighters? Because we all know he wants to fight better beers. We heard Canelo, we heard Vosnik, whoever. But how much better he can be? Is he one of those fighters who needs the bigger position to, to fight better? Well, most fighters are like that, you know, and when there's going to be a, a, an opponent in front of him who wants to take his belt, it's going to be a totally different fight. And uh, if he fights Gvozdik or better be it for Kovalev or Canelo or whoever, these guys are going to come to try to win the fight. And then, it's, then it, that's going to be a totally different story. Like Kathy just said, they're going to engage. And that's going to give Dmitry the opportunities to, to do what he does. Did you see this, this, this way of fighting even better than he fights right now in the training camp or in sparring from him? Uh, um, he does what he does in the fight. He does all his life, I believe. You know, he's been doing that for, since his first professional fight. Some people don't realize that. Some people are like, oh, you know, Dmitri has lost confidence, or Dmitri is not the same, or he's not punching like he used to. No, he's done this since the first sparring in the pros. Uh, and like, for me, like as a fan, I love knockouts. But I hate a lot more when my fighters lose. So I don't really care, you know. The fans today, they were not, not, they were not disappointed with uh, Dmitri not knocking them out. A lot of the fans there, they want to see Gvozdik Bivol, and so do I. And that's going to be a real fight, and that's going to be exciting. But I don't even think Gvozdik is going to go past better Bivol. I think he's going to get knocked out in that fight. And that, that's when the fans are going to be disappointed, because their fighter, you know, it's not going to be a disappointment of, not, of their fighter not getting a, a win by knockout. One of those guys, I think, is going to be on the ground. I mean, it's a 50-50 fight, and it's going to be a real fight. But for me, as a Dmitri's manager and a part of Dmitri's team, it's more important that he wins every time. I hope he wins as many times as Floyd Mayweather and becomes the, the biggest uh, fighter in, in, in this era. And, and that's what it's about. Thank you. Dimitri, another fighter at Light Heavy who's having uh, issues finding opponents, another good fighter, Gibalto Ramirez, Zurdo Ramirez. Uh, I know he's top rank, which is kind of ESPN, you're on the zone. But being that you guys both want a high profile fight, a big, a big name at Light Heavyweight, do you think that'd be possible to make sooner than later? I, I hope it uh, could be made, uh, and uh, I think it will be a better fight uh, for me. And uh, because uh, he was a champion in super middleweight, and I understand he wanna be the champion again in light heavyweight, and he will try to do everything for victory. And this uh, fight, I think, uh, will be great for boxing fans. Is that? I mean, I, I feel like that he's probably the biggest name in the division who's not tied up right now. Kovalev has a fight in November. Uh, Bosdick and Betty have a fight next week. I, I mean, is, is there another name that you feel that maybe it has uh, it will, above his? Uh, you, if he won a fight for my, I just say, if he won a fight for my belt, I will be glad to give him a chance to fight for my belt. For my next fight in... Uh, when we can February. February. We, asked, we asked for him for yeah, this why fight. Not? Why he not? Was, he was in training camp. We asked him. We asked to fight Ramirez for this fight. He said in an interview he wants to fight Bivol. 
we asked Eric Botcher, the matchmaker, said, we'll fight Gilberto Ramirez this fight. Not as many fighters as you, th as you think want to fight whoever. It's actually not true. Castillo didn't have fights for a long time after Marcus Brown with anybody, not because Castillo didn't want it. It's because most people don't want to fight Castillo. Um, most people don't want to fight Chalemba. Uh, one guy, Marcus Brown, wanted to fight Pascal, got knocked out. He had the opportunity to fight Dmitry Bivol for a couple of million dollars right there, you know. And a lot of these guys, they don't really want to fight anybody. It just seems like they want to fight anybody. Gilberto Ramirez, we know him really well, you know, he's a he's champion, I know, you know. I know him, he's a good guy. We know each other, we spar, the, uh, spar uh, each other. And uh, I respect him uh, like a person. He's a good person, like a boxer, I respect him. And uh, this guy really Dostoyan. Uh, deserves deserves a chance to fight for for belt in light heavyweight division. When was that sparring? And can you can you talk to us about uh, what you remember from that? No, I don't want to talk about this sparring. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about sparring. <laughs> Я буду болеть за красивый бокс, потому что э, мне нравится работа и гвоздика в ринге, мне нравится его мысли в ринге, как он двигается, и в то же время мне знаком Артур Бетербиев, э, и вроде он мой соотечественник Артур, да, а они оба все-таки мои оппоненты, и поэтому... Пусть выиграет сильнейший, наверное. А, с кем хотелось бы больше а вы знаете, честно, без разницы. Вот нет такого. Потому что они оба, вот что Артур, к нему нужно очень серьезно подходить. Прям это. Ой, я что-то на русском заговорил. Нормально. Что к Артуру нужно прям серьезно подходить, что к гвоздику просто. Они оба сложные. Тут нет выбора такого, с ним было бы легче или было бы сложнее. Yeah. Uh, he asked me about uh, who I wanna fight against uh, Gwozdik or Better Beef and uh, who I wanna win. Yeah. Uh, who, who I want to win. Who I want to win. And for, for me, it doesn't matter uh, because both of guys uh, is my uh, uh, a possible pos opponent. Possible opponent. Yeah. And I like. Uh, Gwozdik style, I like uh, his uh, uh, thinking in the ring, uh, mo movement, and uh, I like uh, bitter beef too. And uh, both of guys, it's hard uh, challenge, uh, challenge for me. Thank you very much. <coughs> okay, we'll see you all next time. Thank you, guys.